Hello everyone. So someone on Facebook requested a video on how to make the one bracelet. This bracelet. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I was a little bit more prepared than what I am. So I'm going to make this bracelet, but instead of using the bicones, I'm going to use check fire polish beads and amethyst. It isn't going to, it might not even actually change the look of it because they are so close. But, um, I don't know. I feel like using some check fire polish beads right now. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I cut off a piece, a two wingspan length of fire line. I'm using four pounds because that's what I have. I didn't really want to use um, eight pounds. I thought it was too heavy because it's a. I'm using four millimeter pearls, glass pearls, um, four millimeter fire polish beads. Uh, what happened here? Um, Fifteen millimeter Toho. I'm not sure if it says round, but. They kind of remind me of Delica's a little. And 11-0 uh, Toho. In both in bronze. Well, this one is bronze. This is gold-lined frosted crystal. You don't have to use those colors, but... That's what I used for this bracelet. So... That's what I'm going to do. Um, one second. I just want to show you something, too. Okay, so... I'm sorry for shaking you there. So all of these bracelets are basically made the same way. They just have different size beads, different types of beads, and a different um, design on them. Different colors too, obviously. <laughs> okay, so these are the four millimeter pearls. So are these. This is a four millimeter pearl in the center. This is a four millimeter bicone. And these are, I want to say six millimeter pearls. I'm thinking these are six millimeter pearls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then these are a little four millimeter crackle beads. So it's basically the same design, just with different uh, parts. Just realized I'm going to need these too. Okay, so, I don't think I have any enough bicones in the amethyst, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Alright, so, like I said, to begin, you're going to put a stop bead on. And you're going to start with your pearls and the... 8 uh, 11 seed beads, sorry. <laughs> 8 on the brain, I guess. Alright. So I'm going to pick up a pearl. I probably should use a different needle, because this one is a little hard to work with. Because it's a little bent. <laughs> but my needle's threaded, so... A pearl, a minus the cat hair seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, a pearl, and a seed bead. So you're picking up eight beads. Alternating from pearl to seed bead. Is that wax? I wax my thread too. Um, so this is what you should have on your uh, thread. Sorry. So then you're going to... Oh, there's the other cat. At least she doesn't jump up here and wreak havoc. <laughs> 
kid socks got me, by the way. All right. So, you're going to go through all of your beads again. Did I say that? I get very easily distracted. And this is what you're going to have on your thread. Now, I'm going to go past my stop bead. Work my way to the other side so the tail isn't in the way. And I want to be coming out of pearl, so... So, here's my stop bead. Okay, so now you're just going to pick up a an 11 of seed bead, a pearl, an 11 of seed bead, a pearl, an 11 of seed bead. <coughs> Excuse me. A pearl and an 11 0 seed bead. So that's what you should have on your needle. I'm going to pull them down. And I'm exiting out of this side of the pearl. I'm going to go into this side of the pearl. So normally what I do is I add my element, I add the top part now. You don't have to, and I probably will do it so that, because if you're just beginning it'll be easier for you to learn. It's just multiple passes instead of uh, the way I do it. So we're going to work our way back to this pearl. So we could add the next section. Try not to get tangled around your work like I just did. There we go. And we want to be coming out of that pearl. All right. So you're going to be pick. You're going to pick up a seed bead. A pearl, a seed bead, a pearl, a seed bead, a pearl, if they cooperate with you. I think these are glass. Maybe they're, I don't know. And another seed bead. So what you want on your needle or your thread is um, four seed beads alternated with three pearls. You want to start with the seed bead and end with the seed bead. Then we're going to go, we're coming out of this side. We're going to go into, we're coming out of here. We're going to go into here. Then we're going to go back up to the opposite side, the opposite pearl. And we're just going to repeat the same thing till we get till I like mine. I like my bracelets so that they're not really too loose. They're not tight, tight, but they're, this one is, well, this one is all right. Um, I think this one is better. So, yeah, that's how I like mine, so that they're, they can move, you know, they're not tight. Um, so you need to leave, let me measure that.
slightly over a half an inch. Seven eighths, no, sorry, five eighths of an inch. quarter slightly over a half an inch um, for your clasp depending on what type of clasp you're using if you're using a toggle clasp you need to leave about an inch for your clasp so I'm just going to work my way all the way down to the other end of the uh, my bracelet and for the sake of time I'm going to pause my video here and bring you back when I get there so it's just repeating the same thing over again over and over again until you get to the length you, length you need I will be right back Okay, so I'm back. So now I want to show you the difference because normally I make it one section at a time. Like I'll add these four and then I will do this top part. So it spreads it out a little bit more and it makes it look a lot bigger. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we're going to find out. Um, so yeah. I've come to the length that I think I need before I add everything. So I want to go through this bead. Oops. Uh oh, that's not good. Remember, do not leave other jewelry on your. There you go. And I'm going to add this part of my clasp. So, I think it's six, right? Two, four, six. You know, these are 15 O's. So I'm adding six of them. You, it depends on what type of seed beads you're using and the size of your, um, this bead. So I'm going to pick up six, 15 O's. Coming out of here, I'm going to go around here. So what that's going to do is create like a little half circle. like that. Then I'm going to go up two of them. I'm going to pick up two of these 11 O's. My clasp, which I did not have out. I like the magnetic clasps, they're a little bit, oops, sorry about that, a little hard to get used to working with, oh boy, stop shaking, you're going to make people dizzy, alright, so I'm picking up two seed beads, my clasp, and another two seed beads, now what you could do is um, pick up four seed beads, and a uh, yeah, let me think about this. A um, jump ring. I don't know why I have a hard time remembering the name of those. So I'm going to go back into these two top two. I didn't go into them to begin with, but I'm going to go into them the opposite direction that I'm coming out of. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up these two. I want to reinforce my clasp. 
So. The magnet wants to pull my uh, needle. Now, instead of going back into those two that I just went in, I'm going to go into the side two. And I'm going to go through the pearl. What happened to my knot? Did it go away by itself? That's awesome. Um, <laughs> go through the pearl. Back up through these two. Back up through those two. Let's see, I'm going through all four on the side. Through my clasp. You could also use wire, wire guardians if you have them. I just don't feel like thinking them out right now. So, back through these. <laughs> Back through these two on the side and these two on the side. And back through our pearl. So that is going to set us up for the top part. So for the top part, what did I use? I'm going to pick up two 15 O's. your four millimeter bead and another two 15 O's. I think those are four millimeter. And then you're coming out of this side of this bead, you're going to go across to the bead directly across and you're going to go into the opposite side. Like that. You come in out of here, you're going into there. Yep. Even with wax, sometimes if you're not careful, you get a knot. Oh boy. And I notice most of the time that it's just that your working tail folding in on itself and the other and your working thread. Let's see if that helps me get through and then I'll pause you to get through the there we go. Alright. So let me pause you. Let me get this unknotted and I will be back. Okay, now that my knot is done undone. So when you do when you pick up the two this might be too big. Oh, maybe not. The two 15 O's. The uh, crystal, whatever you're using for your center bead. And the two 15 O's. It's going to lay across like that. And I'm hoping that you're going to work. I'm hoping my camera didn't just mess me up. So you're going to pick up another two 15 O's and you're going to go in here in your center bead there you're going to pick up another two 15 O's I think I should have been using three millimeter instead of four And you're going to go back into the opposite end of the pearl you originally started with. I might have to switch these beads out. We'll see. If I'm going to, I should do it now. Hmm, that's not too bad. Okay, so then you're going to go up the side 
through your 11O, your pearl, and your 11O. Through this 11O. Actually, I think that might be a better way to do it. Yeah. All right, and then through your pearl. So then you're going to pick up another two fifteen O's. Your center bead and another two fifteen O's. And you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to cross over to the pearl that's directly across from the one you're coming out of and go into the opposite side. Because what that does is it kind of hides your thread a little and it centers your bead. Okay, so your bead's going to go diagonally right now until you pick up your next two 15 O's and put them back into that bead and that straightens it out. <sighs> Probably need to shorten my tail here. Okay, and then you're going to pick up another two. Another two 15 O's and go into the opposite end of the pearl. It, it'll guide you because you'll see that, you know, you already have the 15 O's there. So it has to go in this way. There's no other way to go in. Uh, there is another way, but it won't make the little X in the center there. So it'll kind of guide you. Something went a little haywire here. Well, watch out for that. I do that quite often. Okay. Cooperate. There you go. So then... We're going to go up the side. And into the pearl directly across from the one we just got done with. And we're going to continue to do that all the way up. So let me do that. I'm going to do it one more time so you just know. It's two 15 O's, your center bead, and two 15 O's. Now you could use four millimeters. I'm using four millimeter pearls. So this is a four, four millimeter uh, check fire polish bead. You can use four millimeter or under because you just want to cover up this spot here. Actually, you don't even have to. You could leave it open if you want. But that's what we're doing. We're covering up the that spot. We're decorating it. So into the opposite end of the bead you com you're coming out of. No, into the opposite end of the bead that's across from the bead you're coming out of. There you go. So coming out of here, going into there.
I'm telling you. <laughs> Sometimes things just do not want to cooperate. There we go. Then we're going to pick up our two fifteen O's, not three, two. Go into the center bead. And pick up another two 15 O's. Now I'm going to try to pause you. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but I'm hoping I don't lose you. If I do, I will bring a second video back to finish this off. If not, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you for this one, you have to go, you're always going to have to go up your side and set yourself up for your next center part. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, so when you get to your last one, you finished your last uh, little top design there. I know you're shaking, sorry. Um should stop soon. You're going to work your way up to the top. Add the other part of your clasp. So you're going to need six 15 O's. Go back around the pearl that you just came out of. Or at least attempt to. <laughs> Please tell me. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So, we're going to go up to two, two of the beads that we just added. We're going to pick up two of the 11 O's. The other end of our clasp. And another two 11 O's. And we are going to go into these two here. Back into the two eleven O's, the clasp, the other two eleven O's, and then we're going to go down these two fifteen O's. Just because I like to reinforce it, I'm going to go around again. I suppose you can come off now. The two fifteen O's. I'm gonna go up to two fifteen O's, up to two eight O's. I have no idea why that is so tight. Now, up these 
to and then into our clasp down the two eleven O's down the fifteen O's and then we are going to pick up another eleven O to put in between to put in this gap here. And we're going to go through the 11 0 through the pearl. Then we are going to. Now, if you wanted to have this bracelet, you would just go down the sides and add these little crystals here, which we're going to add, but we'll get to that. And then you would be done with the, your bracelet. You would just go down both sides. So now we only went through the pearl. We're going to pick up six 15 O's. And then we're going to go back through that pearl. The opposite side of the pearl. Just the pearl we're going to come out of and go into, okay? Then we're going to go up three of the 15 O's that we just added. We're going to add another 15 O. Go back, go down the other three 15 O's that we just added. And back into the pearl. But this time we're going to go through that 11 O on the side too. If you can, if not, you can just go through it after. Let's see. And we're not going to wrap it around our clasp like I just did. There we go. So now that should pop this little one out like that.